We begin this hour with a rare look into an issue most of us may not know about, what it's like to be one of the millions of kids in America who are translators for their parents. In the new movie, Translators, Emmy Award winning filmmaker Rudy Valdez introduces us to three Florida families. The kids learn English through school and end up acting as translators for their families who struggle to find time and resources to learn the language. 16-year-old Virginia came to the U.S. with her family five years ago to escape violence in Venezuela. Take a look. Okay. I know some of my friends that they just don't want to help their parents with translation. They're like, oh, well, she can figure it out on her own. She can use translate, let them solve that on their own. And I am not like that. I would not be painting. I would not be in all of these clubs that I like right now. I have so much to thank them for. They left everything, and I know they just changed all of that because of us. Rudy Valdez joins us now. It is such a beautiful film, and that soundbite that we just played really, really struck me because you might think that for many children, having to translate for their parents while dealing with schoolwork and all the other parts of being a child could be a burden. But, but all of the, the the kids you interviewed said that they were grateful for what their parents sacrificed to bring them to this country. They were happy to help them in this way. Yeah, it was. That was one of the most fascinating things learning. Uh, and, and filming with these kids and families was that it, yeah, it, it comes across as it could be something that is a burden or super stressful, and it can be at times. But there's a real bonding that happens with the kids and the families as they as they navigate the world sort of together in this in this I don't want to say alternate way, but this sort of nuanced way of of using language as access to to more things. So you sometimes hear uh, people say, oh, why don't you just learn English already? You know, if you want to live in this country, you got to speak the language in this country. Yeah. And I think what they forget is, like, going back to every wave of immigration that's ever come to America who doesn't speak English, they, the, the first generation rarely becomes fluent. It's the kids that become fluent. Mm. Why was it important for you to address, though, head on, the sort of question of, why don't you learn English already? Mm. I mean, for that same reason, because even while filming this, we ran into people asking me when they say, oh, what are you filming? And I'd say, oh, I'm, and I'd give them sort of the gist of what we were doing. It's like, why don't the parents just learn English? And I'm like, okay, here's why. And I have to go into this spiel of, you know, people are coming to this country uh, legally, first of all, because that was the sort of the first sort of hint of, of some politicizing of it. And I was like, they're here and, you know, they don't know the language. They're not going to be able to, even though this person has a degree as a teacher from their home country, they're not going to come here and be able to be a teacher. So they're taking the job that they can right. to be able to support their family. And they're working 12, 14 hours a day. Then they're going to go home and study English for two to three hours a night. Yeah. And they're going. And also, it's just difficult for an adult in general in to learn general, another language. In general, learn yeah. to use like yeah. the new remote control. Right. Like, right. You know. Let alone having a full plate. Yeah. Uh, it's my first language, survive. and I can bar I barely have a grasp on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's you, a lifelong journey. Yeah. You're not the only yeah. one. Um, there's a moment in this film where a teenager is translating a medical questions and answers for his parents. Um, what type of, for her parents, excuse me, what type of impact does that have on a kid? Yeah, I mean, you can see in the film, she's very, she's stressed out about that because she says to her mom, if I get one word wrong, like the implications of that, could, who knows? She's very nervous about that. Yeah. And, you know, I think at, at, the, at the core of all this, what we're learning is language is access, language is trust, mm -hmm. language, and, and mm -hmm. there, again, it creates that bonding mechanism between the, the, the family members because the mother says to her, you're going to do it. Mm. You can do it. Trust yourself. Mm. And, and, you know, these are lessons, and the, and the mom has complete faith in her daughter, and even if the daughter doesn't have faith in herself, she's learning to navigate that and, and be resilient through all of that. So it's, it's fascinating to watch. Yeah. It truly is. Seeing the children take on this almost, almost co-parenting role by translating right. and being part of the conversation with the doctor is amazing. It brings the family together. But then you also see the kids then, at least one of them, didn't want to move away after high school because she wanted to stay close to her parents, and you can only think that that was because she knew that her parents needed her yeah yeah and I think you know we, we I talked to Virginia about that all the time and you know she's opening up to the fact that yes she she wants to go on and live her life but she always has this thing that she's very appreciative of what her family has done because r what we're thinking of right now is all of the sacrifices that she is making to help her family but 
what we don't always understand is all of the sacrifices that her family made to bring her here and give her these opportunities. And she's trying to reciprocate that by, by giving it back to her. And she, she also understands she has a younger brother and she's like, he will then take on that role when he's mm -hmm. old enough. So she just wants to make sure that that sort of gap is bridged right. until mm -hmm. she moves on. So it's, it's, it's such a beautiful experience watching uh, the way they're navigating everything. You have to grow up fast. 11 million children serve as translators for their families, huge in Latino communities, but also, you know, other languages and other communities as well. Rude, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Translators is available now at translatorsfilm.com.